Let's start with bishop c6. I want white simply want to take our pawn on e5. We go rook e8 attacking opponent's knight on e5 and if this knight moves back then we take the e4 pawn and here we have a two bishop and advantage. So after rook e8 they should uh, protect the knight on e5 playing a d4 but uh, here we have a very cool thing uh, and here I offer you to pause the video and uh, try to find what is that cool thing. Okay cool so we take here cd4 cd4 and here knight e4 a very cool tactic knight e4 and the thing is that after rook e4 here there is a pin so d4 pawn is busy we can take here bishop e5 but uh, it seems better rook e5 also changing the rook on e4 which was protecting the d4 pawn and after rook e5 bishop e5 here we have two bishop opponent has a very big pawn on d4 after bishop e3 so we are we have a, a big advantage that's the problem of bishop c6, d6, knight e5 move, we have rook e8 and d4 is impossible. And if f4, this is already very risky, they give us two bishops, uh, they open their king and also all the pieces are in the queen uh, side and not developed. Here the best answer for us is knight h5, attacking f4 uh, pawn, next move is also coming queen h4, uh, we will attack it uh, one more time. And if a d3, queen h4, we not attack just a 4 pawn, but also we are attacking h3 pawn. So, uh, for example, now if uh, rook f1, we take bishop h3. And after uh, gh3, otherwise if knight f3 attacking our queen, we have here queen g4 or queen g3. And the opponent cannot take our bishop. So if gh3, queen g3, king h1, yeah, we have minimum draw, but knight g3 gives us advantage, attacking f1 rook, queen h1 is coming, also we can somewhere take bishop e5, and then f5 or rook e5, so uh, we will have already three pawns, and also rook will join the attack. And after f4, knight h5, d3, queen h4, if knight f3, then a queen g3, and here f4 pawn is hanging, also h3 pawn is hanging, so white has lots of problems. Another move, uh, queen f3, uh, protecting the f4 and h3 pawn is impossible, because now e1 rook is hanging. So f4, knight h5 is giving already advantage to black. So that's the thing, after e5, bishop c6, uh, d6, knight e5 is a very dangerous move, only 4 white after rook e8, they have problems.